Julia and her folks went to church on Sunday just like always. Being church and all, she did wear a dress. But this time she kept a keen eye out for subway grates, which was a joke since Julia knew perfectly well that there were no subways within 500 miles of her house. There was also no wind that day, which she actually was thankful for, since that, unlike random subway gates, was a real thing that could happen. Julia wasn't particularly worried anybody was going to figure out she had a diaper on. She remembered what Nancy had said about people just not really even thinking about it. But for interest's sake, she did try to pay extra attention to see if she could hear her diaper like Nancy had said. Sure enough, there was a telltale rustle coming from her diaper when she walked. She also noticed an audible crinkle and crackle when she sat down in her seat. But she also figured it was probably not something most people would hear. She actually had to listen really hard to hear it when she was walking, and if there was any other sound, like her mom or dad talking, it was pretty much impossible to hear. After church it was pancakes per usual. When that was over they headed home. They all got out and Ted and Shirley headed inside with Julia coming in just behind them. They got settled and Shirley picked up a magazine that had come in the mail the previous day. She sat on the couch and started thumbing around, obviously looking for something in particular. As she was flipping pages she spoke up. Ted, check to see if Julia needs to be changed. Julia was in the kitchen and heard her mom too. Her father came into the kitchen and started walking in her direction. As he was walking, he made eye contact with Julia and saw her quickly force a smile in an apologetic way. He lifted up her dress and saw what looked like a dry diaper from the front. He was a bit confused about the look he had just seen, until it hit him. He turned Julia around and lifted her skirt again, this time in the back. Well, Shirley inquired from the top of her magazine. Um, I think somebody pooped their pants honey. He let out a small sigh and looked at Julia. She just shrugged and tried her best to smile politely. She had needed to go for a while and it had been a bit difficult to make it all the way through breakfast. She hadn't even made it inside the house after they got home before she filled her pants. You know where the stuff is honey, go right ahead, was Shirley's response to that information. Ted chuckled and Julia just shook her head. She had seen that one coming. She turned and said, sorry dad, I, you know, had to go. Don't sweat it Julia. He mumbled, cost of doing business. Since it was a big job, it did take a bit longer. But eventually she was all cleaned up and she hopped off the changing table and took a look at her fresh diaper. Julia noticed that her dad had done a significantly better job than he had the last time he had changed her. Not bad dad, a lot better than last time. Mom still has you beat though. Ted looked wounded. What do you mean? Is it on wrong or something? No dad, it's fine. I just think mom might have a bit more practice than you is all. I mean, I think the count is something like dad, two and mom, oh, like two thousand. Are you kidding me? Two thousand? I find it a bit hard to believe your mom has changed your diaper two thousand times in the past week. Julia was clearly playing around and having fun with it. Well, I was counting from when I was a baby. Ted began laughing. You think I only changed your diaper twice when you were a baby? Are you serious? Shirley chimed in from downstairs. Ham, no I think it was more like five honourable. Ted shook his head. Oh, I see how it is. Well, I know when I am outnumbered. I'll just keep this in mind. He said, wagging a finger in Julia's direction. Julia laughed and gave her dad a playful shove. They all met up downstairs. Shirley announced that they were all going to go out for a hike. I've wanted to go on this hike for a while now. And now there is an article about it. It's about an hour from here and you end up at this really nice lake. I think it's a couple of miles each way, so I was thinking we could bring a picnic. And that's exactly what they ended up doing. Shirley grabbed a blanket and put together some sandwiches and drinks. 
the drive out there turned out to be more like an hour and a half. Eventually they pulled onto a dirt road and followed it for a short ways to a dusty dirt parking lot. There were quite a few other cars there already. Apparently a number of other folks had the same idea they did. The hike in went through a nice forest, with large oaks and pines. The trail headed uphill most of the way. After 45 minutes or so it leveled out and they could see the lake. The trail split when it reached the water and made a circle around the small lake. They picked a direction at random and continued until they found a nice spot to set out the blanket. After a quick snack and a big drink of lemonade, Julia strolled down to the water. She took off her shoes and waded in a little bit. The water looked clear and inviting, but her numb feet informed her it was in fact quite cold. The water also had the effect of making her pee. It wasn't much though, so she didn't give it a second thought. She eventually went back to the blanket and had a sandwich. Her mom was laying on the blanket reading and dad appeared to be snoozing next to her. Julia sat on a corner of the blanket and admired the scenery. It was really a lovely little lake and Julia was glad they had come.